is back. Hit it. Ha. Sam Hit it. and. Ha. Oh, God. Attention, successful people. Entrepreneur Nate Brown has a special offer just for you. His book, The Laws of Success, will get you back on the path to achieving your dream. I've left the link at the top line of the description box right now. I need everybody under the sound of my voice to go show my man some love. He has my personal endorsement. All right, man. Yesterday, 50 Cent shook up the industry when he made a post disputing Irv Gotti's claim that 50 Cent passed away from overdose of drugs and fentanyl. Now, 50 posted this. He put, this guy's an idiot. Did he just say that DMX died from smoking crack and fentanyl? Why would he say that? And then, like, immediately after that, Swiss Beats kind of, you know, followed up and said, look, man. That's a bozo clown move. Now, a lot of people pointed out the fact that nobody really disputed or, you know, denied that Irv Gotti, you know, what he said wasn't true. Well, today, after all the backlash, Irv Gotti left a lengthy statement doubling down on what he finally or first said about dmx now before i get to the comment everybody go ahead and smash that like button and make sure you share the video because i'm coming with that heat now irv posted this earlier this morning the crack of dawn it was a picture of him and dmx and here's what he put at the caption he put first though let me say again how much love i have for my nigga x the fact that it's coming into question is the only reason why i feel like i need to address the bullshit i love x and i love him unconditionally and it won't change till i die now the interview i did with wgci and Kendra uh, G Media is the interview where I said about DMX. Now, everything I said had already been reported in the media. If you look back at Ball Alert, Shade Room, and other media outlets, everything I said had already pretty much been out there. All right? I did not break anything I said, but you know what? I understand. No one ever wanted to hear from me. And for that, I am truly sorry to ever make people think I don't love my nigga X. Anybody that knows me or knew X can could not ever front like me and X didn't share a special bond. I put my whole career on the line for X and did things for X that is unquestionable. Our relationship grew and grew to the point where I feel like I understood X and he in the love that he wanted. That's why I say dog love, unconditional love is what I gave X. It didn't matter to me what he was doing. I loved him and I will always try to do the best for him. Now he said I spoke to to Shira Simmons, who was DMX's ex-wife, who I love also, and I apologized as soon as I felt it went left. I explained to her I was only saying things that I heard reported already, to which she said they don't know if it's real yet. They are waiting for doctors to come back and tell them, then which I apologize even more for repeating what I had reported. I apologize to my brother. Uh, he tags Y Dean in general over everything. They know exactly where my heart is with X and where my heart is with them. We have done things together that will never change how I feel about them. They are my brothers. Again, I apologize for taking out of turn in my defense. I honestly thought I was saying anything that everyone didn't hear already. If anyone thinks that the love I have for X is nothing but genuine, unconditional, just look at our history. Really look at it. And there's no way you could think that love you X until I die and see you again. Now, essentially, pretty much is what he's saying is he messed up. He messed up big time because DMX's ex-wife is pretty much saying like, look, we're still waiting on the, uh, the exact cause of death. Now, I didn't hear anything about DMX dying from um, a fentanyl overdose. You know, um, we all knew what he did, you know, um, when he smoked he smoked crack and he did numerous drugs we uh, we all know he talked about that and um but again if you go back to the initial report if you go back to the initial report the initial report said that he had an overdose it didn't specify what drug it didn't it said he had an overdose that led to a heart attack that was the initial report now maybe there's a little bit of truth maybe we'll have to find out later maybe they got to do an autopsy to see exactly what drugs was in his system, and maybe Irv Gotti will be validated. Maybe he won't. We will see. But if you go back to the initial report, the initial report said that he had a drug overdose. He, you know, laid down, you know, um, lost consciousness um, for 30 minutes without brain activity, without oxygen going to his brain, and then he had a heart attack and he passed away. So 
let me know what you guys think. Obviously, this was good that he came out and addressed this because it was taken away, I think, out of context. But it doesn't mean that he's exactly wrong. We still have to kind of wait. And it's really up in the air right now. But go ahead and leave a comment, man. Irv Gotti explaining his way out of the situation, apologizing, but saying, look, I said what the media said. It's your boy, old guy, man. Let's get it, bro. Peace.